Hey guys, welcome back to Bruggen Monsters Gila Den. We've been working on something special, and that is what this thing we're calling the, the Gila Monster Hilton. These are all animal plastic cages, and I've used animal plastic cages for many years now. Uh, I really like them, and uh, we're using them maybe a little bit differently than animal plastics even expected. We ordered the animal plastic cages, we bought them with a divider. So this is a standard four foot by two foot deep and one foot high. And so you can see the divider in the middle. And then what I do is I put a vent, uh, it's meant as a ridge vent between the two. So that now this can be two separate cages or I can pull that vent and it can be a tunnel and the animal can use both sides, making it a little more complicated and a little more interesting. You can see this is a, just sold as a ridge vent and uh, it comes with this tube that goes all the way through. I've installed that and glued it in place. And then this piece can just be stored somewhere. So now a lizard can come and go through this tube. And when I want to say, hey, no, I want to separate you two. I don't want anybody coming in here. I just slide this vent in place and it's good to go until I take it out. And then what I've done is done that throughout the entire row. So now this can be six individual cages for raising hatchlings or it could be uh, three double cages for when they get a little bit bigger, or it could be even one long uh, container or cage that has a Gila monster that just lives in this row, and it would be all of these interesting boxes and, and things to see in there. But the way I intend to use it is have males in one group of three, females in another group of three, and when I want to introduce them this year, I'll just pull the vent out uh, that keeps them separated and they can find the, uh, themselves together instead of the stress of picking one up and moving it to another location. Uh, so this is a three inch ridge vent uh, and I know for a fact that my largest gravid females right before they lay have no trouble going through a three inch hole. So this works out for all size Gila monsters. So the animal plastic cages don't come uh, put together. So I took advantage of that and I got these backgrounds that are just peel and stick. You can get them on Amazon. And I got a lot of different varieties. So I got this uh, cool brick one, this one that looks like different color uh, rusty tiles. Uh, and then I went with the Mexican tile on this one. And they're real easy to do. You, the background, you just pull the back panel off before you put the whole case together, stick these to it, and then screw the case together and you got some kind of interesting look rather than just a boring black background. Uh, you can see that they all stack rather nicely and I'm real happy with the look. I also put these cages at the top. I already had these and I get a little frustrated with this because these are nice cages. They're good and durable. If you stack them, you can't change the light bulb. You have to remove them and then be able to get to the light socket in the back of there. So I've put all these at the top so I can easily get to the lights and replace them when I need to. So uh, the rest are all animal plastic cages and we're thrilled with how this has come together. Uh, so join us next time. We're gonna do all the great adventures we can right here in the Gila Den and things are really gonna get interesting now that we have a Gila Hilton.